Hi, I'm Jim Fenton. I'm the author of First Circle, which launches on May 4th through City Limits Publishing. That's the story of a group of seemingly random people who come together and are influenced by a common guardian angel. But before we get to that story, City Limits has asked that I take a shelfie and share a little bit about what's on my bookshelves. So come on into my home office. So here we are in my home office and what home office is complete without having bookshelves. And my bookshelves, I've tried to organize them a bit. So if you look to my right, your left, it's mostly books that are on business, uh, and a little bit on scriptural inspiration. And to the left, over on this side, is more about fiction and reference books. So we're going to talk a little bit about some of the favorites that come out of those bookshelves. Let's start with over here. If we look toward the top, there are a couple of books that generally inspire me, whether it's in business, in life, or in my writing. And they're books like In Search of Excellence, or A Passion for Excellence, or From Good to Great. But you know, I found over time that my interest in business and storytelling came together. And so more recently, some of the books that I have been particularly fond of and have really resonated with me have been things like Switch. Switch is a book by the Heath Brothers. It's all about change management. And it uses an analogy of a rider, an elephant, and a path to talk a little bit about change management and how to break through barriers that come up. What's another book that's sort of in a similar space? Well, that might be one like All Hands on Deck. All Hands on Deck is by Joe Tai, and it again uses an analogy of taking a ship through a storm. And how do you do that? Well, you need to have everybody all hands on deck so that they, in fact, regardless of title, or job, or responsibilities, that they all help navigate the storm. It's building a culture of ownership. Another book that I like, or an author that I like, is Patrick Lencioni. And Patrick deals with many books, but one of the favorites there is Five Dysfunctions of a Team. And it's how do you move a team from just average performance to great? How do you make them a high performance team? And he uses the, the approach of a parable. Another book that perhaps isn't so much in the business space, but I think is inspiring, is this one over here by John Ortberg. And John Ortberg writes the book, If You Want to Walk on Water, You've Got to Get Out of the Boat. It's based on scripture and the story of Jesus walking on water and asking or inviting Peter, his disciple, to come out on the water with him. It inspires us to boldness and to courage. It's a pretty neat book. Let's spend a moment over here on the fiction side of the house. Over here, I'm going to do less of spending time with specific books, but I like storytellers. And the storytellers, you can see, like Grisham's early books. You got the whole Harry Potter series. I like people who tell a story. There are ones like uh, up here, we've got Dan Brown, we've got Brad Meltzer. But frankly, a lot of the books that I read these days, I read on my Kindle. My Kindle has a whole lot of storytellers in there. So you will see me reading James Patterson, David Baldacci, Harlan Coben just to name a few, a bunch of folks that are good storytellers. I like to think that those books, the ones that we've referenced here, influenced me. And maybe you'll see some of those same influences should you actually pick up First Circle down the road. I'd be honored to have First Circle be on someone's take a shelfie in the future. But you'll have to wait because First Circle doesn't launch until May 4th. See you soon, and that's a wrap.